Hey guys, it's Tiny Bryson here, and in this video right here, we're going to go over the top 10 items that I actually bought to actually save me money. And on top of that, some of them also made me money. And by the way, 80% of everything I ever bought usually just cost me money and didn't make me or save me any money whatsoever. So these 10 things right here should also help you too. And I highly recommend you consider also buying them at the end of the video. If they're actually available where you actually live and by the way if you're new to my channel I upload videos every single day so make sure to also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video and on top of that also smash or destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm and now the first thing I actually bought or actually did to save me money is I bought a bunch of t-shirts, a bunch of shorts, a bunch of jeans, a bunch of clothes overall but I bought it from Goodwill Drift shops and also high end thrift shops. And let me explain, okay, guys, because by the way, you guys might not know this because you see me with the same t shirt almost every single day. But the idea is, I actually own over 50 different t shirts and also a bunch of different clothes. But the point is this, okay, on average, every t shirt I buy might cost retail around 20 bucks. So, in reality, if I paid retail for 50 t shirts, that would cost me around one thousand dollars. But by going to Goodwill and thrift shops and also high-end thrift shops, I actually end up paying around one dollar fifty cents sometimes and also two dollars for every single t-shirt I also buy. So in reality, 50 t-shirts only cost me between 50 to 80 bucks, which means I get to save around 950 dollars just on not buying clothes for retail value. And by the way, some of the high-end thrift shops here in New York City actually include Gucci, Burberry, um, a and X, and a whole bunch of different brands. In reality, it's not like, hey, just random t-shirts here and there, no. It's like cool t-shirts that people just don't want anymore and you get to buy them for a discount and you can even turn this into a business and resell them back on eBay for even more profit. So it's a pretty cool way to save money by going to thrift shops, and also Goodwill, and some people also go to like the Red Cross, but I never done that, only Goodwill, and also thrift shops, and also some garage sales, okay? But that's the first thing right there that saved me over $900, just like that. Now, the second thing, and by the way, if you're wondering, Tommy, why did you buy so much t-shirts? The answer is I just don't wanna do laundry so frequently, like every single week or every single two weeks, and that's why I have so many t-shirts and pants and a whole bunch of different things, okay? It's to save me time and going to do laundry. All right, that's why secret revealed. Now, number two is actually a prepaid cell phone. Now you might tell me, Tommy, what do you mean here? Well, this right here is an iPhone X, and guess what, it is prepaid, but I did not buy it brand new. I actually bought this phone right here used, and guess what, guys, okay, when I bought it used, I bought it like around one year old, meaning that I got a 40 to 60% discount because it's literally like one year old, but the phone literally looks like it's brand new. Nothing is wrong with this phone whatsoever. But by buying it one to two years old, I got to buy phones that are nearly new, basically for a 40 to 60% discount, which means I don't have any phone payments, which means my wallet stays full and I'm not really spending a ton of money on my cell phone. And by the way, I also turned this into a full-on business and I bought and resold phones for a discount over and over again, which then led me to actually buy this phone, not for 500 bucks, but I actually bought it for free because basically I paid 500, but I bought and flipped so many phones to the point where the profits actually bought this phone right here for free. But in reality, if you don't wanna do that, just go on Facebook or Craigslist or eBay and buy a one year to two year old phone in good condition, unlocked also, and you get to buy for a 40 to 60% discount right off the bat, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And I usually do this whenever a new iPhone is coming out, I buy them right around that period because everyone is scrambling around to get more money to buy a phone that in one year is going to be worth like 30 to 60% less, which to me makes no sense. Now, number three is actually, I actually bought an Alexa. Now you might say, Tommy, why do you have an Alexa and why is she not responding right now? I actually muted her. So right now she can't hear me whatsoever. But the point is I bought an Alexa for $0. And most of the things I buy, I pay no money for. But this Alexa was actually a deal I got because I signed up for Amazon Music and they thought, hey, 
We're going to give him free Alexa and he's going to keep Amazon Music. But in reality, I canceled Amazon Music and I never paid a dollar for it. And I just kept the Alexa, which basically means I get to have a free assistant, stay productive, and also have someone to wake me up and also tell me what to do at every single second of my day, which to me is pretty cool and also pretty clever. But I highly recommend if you want to stay productive, I recommend an Alexa, they're pretty cool. And I bought it for free, but they cost an average of like 30 bucks. And if you want a used one, just go on eBay or Facebook or Craigslist and get it for like 20 bucks, which is pretty cool also. And that way you also get to save more money, which is pretty cool if you ask me at the end of the day. I think I said pretty cool like around five times so far in this video, so excuse me. But these items right here, are pretty cool. Now, number four is I started to buy subscriptions, not month to month, but basically for the full year, meaning I paid annual instead of month to month. And usually companies actually like that a lot more, which means you have to save between 10 to 30% on that subscription. If you know for a fact, you're actually going to use it. Now I use it for my work, my gym, and a bunch of other little things here and there. And by the way, when you actually set up, for example, auto pay with like your phone bill, or for example, your internet bill, you also get a discount by doing that also. And if you have car insurance, if you pay all in full for the full year, they also give you a massive discount if you actually do that. Now the answer is because basically, Companies want to have cash flow and they want to have the money right then and there. And they also want it to be predictable. So if you pay them all in full, all that once, for example, a gym membership or your car insurance, the answer is they will offer you a discount. And I usually do that, but only for things I know for a fact I'm actually going to be using for the full year. If you're not, you might just buy something for the whole year and use it like once or twice. And then basically you got to lose a ton of money. So be very careful. But if you can, and if you're gonna use it a lot, then just buy the full year subscription and save some money while you're at it. And number five is something I never thought I was gonna be pumped about, but here it is. I actually have a BJ subscription. Now this right here is for me to actually go grocery store shopping, which means I pay around $55 every single year for two people in my household, which basically means I pay around $4.58 every single month to basically save around 15 to 30% on my groceries every single month because again, we need groceries, so what's the point of paying, for example, retail? We can go over to BJ's and buy it for wholesale and save some money also. Now this does two things, okay? One, it saves me money on my grocery bill because basically I'm not going to my local supermarket and paying a premium, that's one. Number two, since I'm spending money on buying groceries at BJ's, it means that I'm not going outside and spending money on going out. And number three is basically, I get a bunch of coupons and stuff like that, so it also saves me even more money which i guess like you know what promotions here and there but in reality i only buy what i need usually so basically i also get to save a ton of money and by the way 55 bucks two people if you split it down the middle in reality you're paying around like two dollars three dollars and by the way even if they say like hey only per household how are they gonna know exactly where you live okay there's no way to actually do it so if you want to do it do it with a friend and that we split it down the middle and you get to save a ton of money also. This saves me like 20 bucks a day or $10 a day because basically I'm not having to go outside and actually eat anymore because basically I'm eating the food I actually bought at the grocery store that I actually cook at home. So basically a pretty good subscription, a pretty good investment if you ask me every single year. And number six guys is actually a water filter. Now I can't bring it out here and show you guys it, but the idea is that I actually bought a water filter although I live in New York and the water is pretty safe for consumption but the idea is that you know every now and then that water might have lead and I don't want that in my system so in reality I went on Amazon and I bought a water filter for like around 30 to 50 bucks and I did not buy a $1,000 like um filter because in reality I live in New York and the water is very safe to actually drink how do I know this because basically I went to a hospital and said hey where is the drinking water? And the doctor told me, hey, Tommy, all the drinking water in New York is drinkable. So just go ahead, get a cup and take it from the sink and then boom, you're good to go. And that's what I figured out like, hey, that's awesome. Let me not spend money. I'm buying like two bags of water bottles every single month just so I can drink and waste like $10 or $15 every single month. This way I get to save a ton of money on that also. And I also have this guys, okay? I also have this big bottle right here that I also use to actually drink water every single day. And this is also, I think it's called like um BPA. 
That way, like, the plastic does not give you, like, any, like, cancer and, like, hurt you. So it actually helps me out a ton also. And I actually use this every single day for, like, 10 bucks, And it's actually pretty useful, okay? So if you want to get a filter and one of these bottles, I'll also link that down below. And that way, you can also get this and save money at your home. But I have to warn you, okay? If you do live in a state where the water is not as safe as New York, you might have to buy a high-end filter or you might as well just be better off buying water from the supermarket and just buy it in bottles or gallons or might as well just get a subscription from a company to actually bring water to your home for like 20 bucks a month, okay? So options are basically dependable on where you actually live. And number seven is I actually bought an e-bike and that stands for an electric bike. And basically, if you're new here, you probably don't know this, but basically I do not like cars whatsoever i don't like the maintenance i don't like the insurance i don't like the parking i don't like any of it so i do not own a car whatsoever especially since i live in new york and it makes absolutely no sense to actually own a car here but the point is i bought an e-bike for around 550 bucks but the retail value of that bike is around 1200 dollars. and how did i do it I went on Facebook and Craigslist and I looked for one that was actually used but in great condition and that's the bike I actually have today. Now that bike saves me a ton of money on Ubers because I go everywhere with it and it also keeps me away from having to buy a car at any moment for the next say like, two to three years and that way I can have my bike go wherever I want, whenever I want and basically go there for free because again, it's electronic, it costs me 550 but I'm also saving half the money on the price of retail and I'm also using it for business. So it's also a business expense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you knew about that. Now you know. Now, number eight is that I actually have a bunch of tools in my house to actually do some handiwork. So in reality, I bought my own tools like this one, see? And I also have a whole bunch of different screws and stuff like that to actually fix my phones. Now, this means that although they cost like $20, 20 bucks in reality it saves me a ton of money because basically I have these phones right here that as you guys can see they're actually cracked and they're actually not working but I can basically use my tools to open them up buy a screen for like 11 bucks on Amazon and fix them for like an hour of my time which means I don't have to spend a hundred bucks going to the Apple store to get a screen replacement because basically I can do it myself for like literally like a fraction of the price. So having my own tools to like fix things around the house and also to fix things around everywhere. And I also even built my own computer with these tools. So in reality, I get to do all these things just by spending like 20 bucks on this stuff right here, which literally saves me a ton of money. And by the way, when I first bought this stuff, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna use it. I don't know how to do anything. But the more you watch YouTube and you just learn how to do it, everything becomes easy. So I highly recommend Stop wasting money on like having someone fix your stuff and basically just learn how to do it. But I have to admit something, okay? Not everything I fix. Some things are too complicated, so I might just hire a professional. So don't try to be like too like cool or whatever. If you can't do it, hire a professional and don't waste any money trying to fix something and then break it and make the problem even worse. And number nine is actually some books that I actually bought. Now I have a whole video on the top 50 books I actually read, I'll link it down below. But the answer is, you know, if it wasn't for books and spending money on books, I wouldn't be here today because basically, since I was around 19 years old when I started reading like a lot, the answer is I was still young, did not have a lot of life experience. So basically I got to learn from people that went through life, became professionals or masters whatever they want to do and are basically a lot smarter a lot more successful and a lot more intelligent in every single way than I was at the time and I got to learn from them and I got to save money on making the mistakes that they made in their past and that way books also saved me a ton of money and the last one here number 10 is basically courses now at one point in my life I actually wanted to get a master's degree and even to one point even a PhD now that would have cost me an additional like 40k or so and I said you know what it's going to be a great investment but I didn't do it whatsoever because basically I took courses and learned from people that have a PhD in real life experience and also people that have a master's degree and that way I got to save a ton of money on going to college to basically get a master's degree because basically I already have a bachelor's degree that cost me around $95,000 but I only paid 13k because of scholarships and also government help but i did not want to get into student loan debt over a 40k degree in something i could learn for a fraction of the price by getting people online to teach me how to do it people that are professors masters phds everything everything's online on udemy everywhere for a fraction of the price and by the way if you want to get a bachelor's degree or master's degree and you don't really want to go to college 
There's something called a DIY degree, do it yourself, or for example, a credit by examination degree. Meaning that if you actually learn by yourself and you self-studied, you can actually go to a college and just take the test for every single credit you actually need. And if you pass all of them, basically you get to go ahead and get the degree without having to go to school and spend a ton of money on all the classes and everything like that. Because basically you got to bypass that by taking the test and boom, you get everything for the fraction of the price. The degree, but it is going to take you a ton of time to actually learn all the subjects. And that's why, although it's pretty cool, it's not really for me because basically I need someone to teach me things like directly sometimes. So all of those is pretty cool. If you can do this, do it. But if you can't do it, don't be afraid to go to college and actually get your degree like a normal person, okay? Like I did. But guys, that's about it for this video. Comment down below and let me know out of these 10 things, which one are you going to try to do to save the most money? And did I miss any? Comment down below. Let me know because I'm always willing to save more money. So comment down below and let me know. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you like this video, well, like this video. And also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And also follow me on Instagram Time Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch another video basically about how I budget my money, well, here's that video right here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.